madam shall we start our second session yes sir okay madam thanks madam very good afternoon uh, now we are going to see our second part of our second part of uh, this presentation so we'll see method of sections will you able to see our slides slides are visible uh, yes, sir. yes sir okay thank you very much so in that method of section when you think about our first part we have many number of members generally when you think about uh, cell phone tower power transmission lines like you have many members even sometime hangers so if you use method of joint particularly hand calculation type we need more time to solve and we always need previous member information to take care of our present calculation so when you think about our method of section directly we can just consider one specific member that member may be our like point of interest or line of interest and we want to just like uh, note how it is experiencing magnitude that force magnitude whether it is fine or not and we want to just to verify some so some members some members we want to know some members we have doubt some members we may just like we want to just like strengthen further but that member if it is placed center portion portion of your big structure so how to arrive we have to start from the joint and we have to just go one by one finally we have to just reach our required member so that will take time and obviously that will also just like a very tedious process that's why people have suggested when you have something like very particular part you can comfortably you can go for method of sections you can directly you can solve your record one it is possible but when you use our method of sections we have to think about how to cut our truss how we are going to cut and how we are going to get our internal member forces imaginary cut and how the section is passing through your other members so we have to just to take care of our required one so now what we are planning we are just to plan to just consider our section that section should pass through our required members in that way we can proceed when you are considering a method of section what we are trying to do we are trying to just uh, fix various section lines those lines are passing through our members and we are trying to show free body diagram after that we are trying to fix moment equilibrium equation with respect to various joints available in that section we are trying to draw moment equilibrium equations with respect to various joints present in that section may be left hand side or right hand side portion of your free body diagram 
So now I want to just to take same kind of problem so that that the verification part it will be easy. That's why we are considering like this. This same triangle part we already solved this problem using method of joint. Now we are trying to repeat this problem using method of section. We already completed our support calculation. And we also noted that this is perfect truss. When I say perfect truss, internally it is not facing any problem. Internally it is just satisfying our static lead determinant. And it is statically determined from support reactions point of view also. So we have arrived our support reaction from equilibrium equations. Now I want to just to know my member forces. I want member force along F1, member force along F5, and member force along F3. What I'm trying to do, I want to keep one arbitrary axis, the x axis, that is section. It passes through those three lines. Now what I want, I need these three member forces, F1, F5, F3. So our section, it just passes through those three members. And we are trying to just to show our two splits. Left hand side, you have one free body diagram. In that left hand side, you have applied load and the two support reactions like H A B A. We already identified our reactions from our equilibrium equation. In that right hand side, you have member forces and one support reaction. When you think about your left hand side, you have two joints, one applied load, and the H A B A, those are present. When you think about your right hand side portion, you have two joints B and C. In the joint C, you have your vertical reaction VC. And you also have three member forces F1, F5, F3. How we are going to solve? So, in this problem, there are two joints. Obviously, we can take moment equilibrium with respect to those two joints. It is VC. We are trying to fix our moment equilibrium equation with respect to point C. Now, F5, our base length, it is 1.5 because total length, it is 3 meters in the base. So, BC, it is 1.5. F5 into 1.5, it produces counterclockwise moment, so, sorry, clockwise moment. And other part you don't have any moment related issues like f1 it won't produce any moment with respect to point c because it is coinciding along this line and f3 it is also coinciding along this line it won't cause any moment only f5 will cause moment so f5 equal to zero kilometer so now we are just arriving this portion next one taking Moment about this portion, MB. You please see only this equation and this equation. It's a, those are related to this part. After that, I will explain why you are using this part. When you think about your moment about this point B, VC into 1.5, it produces counterclockwise moment. And F3, it is 60, no? So 30. F3 cos 30 into 1.5, it produces counterclockwise moment. So now you are getting F3 equal to minus 5.774 kilometer. So we know F3, we know F5. We have noted F5, F3. Now we should also note this F1. In that method of section, we are using XX plane, capital XX plane. In that plane, just like it splits, it splits our structure, this entire truss, into two halves. The first two portion we have joint D and joint A. Second portion we have joint B and joint C. We are considering right hand side portion and we are solving these two equations. Moment about point C, moment about point B. 
now we are considering this left hand side section we are considering moment about point d and we are trying to just see our problem when you are considering this d part see it is very clear directly we can just consider what is our corresponding length va into d that is also possible or directly we can see vc into d this is also possible like instead of considering this vc directly when we consider this vd that will be like very prompt and we can just solve our problem and please note this horizontal force involved in this joint that will also cause moment with respect to d through this way through this way we are trying to identify our member forces and we are getting our member forces in our other portion also in this one same method we are trying to follow after fixing this thing we are trying to just fix our nature nature is important tensile nature or compressive nature or whether it is dummy member this part we have to note and we have to arrive when we are thinking about our method of section we are considering various sections to take care of our member forces we want to know our member forces and we can some situation we can also use method of joint some in that location itself we can use method of joint to i directly we can get our member forces and after that we can incorporate or we can substitute those known quantities in our method of section to simplify our problem now i want to show one simple example using method of section we are trying to just solve this truss part it is supported by pin and the roller support simply supported nature it is also experiencing three concentrated loads 200 newton and 100 newton 15 newton those are acting at those <coughs> joints 100 newton is acting at c 15 newton is acting at d and this 200 newton it is with orientation 45 degree and it is also acting through joints now we have to note how many members are involved so in this particular problem there are totally 17 members how many joints we have totally 6 plus 4 10 joints we have now we can just to verify whether it is statically determinate through this perfect truss form this equation m equal to 2j minus 3 so we are arriving 17 equal to 17 now what we are trying to understand internally it satisfies statically determinate from external supports point of view from external supports point of view you have you are statically determinate nature only so this problem it can be easily solved we don't have any kind of difficulty so before solving this part what we are trying to do we are trying to just fix our support reactions like ha va and vf you have to just note this force equilibrium along this x direction now we have ha plus 200 cos 45 all those things they are true positive x direction so ha plus 141.421 we are getting now ha equal to minus 141.421 newton force equilibrium along y direction please note va plus vf minus 200 sin 45 or cos 45 that is towards downward direction and we have 100 that is towards our downward direction 50 towards our downward direction so now when we just combine them together we are getting va plus vf va plus vf when you just add them it is 291.4 after this 
you are getting your moment about point a to get uh, your support reaction so vf into 5 50 into 3 clockwise vf into 5 counterclockwise moment it will produce counterclockwise moment 100 into 2 it produces clockwise moment 200 cos 45 into 1 that will produce the vertical part vertical component produce clockwise moment 200 cos this cos cos 45 again into 1 that will produce clockwise moment so both the components they will produce only clockwise moment from this you are arriving what is our vf when you know your vf you are directly substituting this in this equation number one and we are getting our va after this with this va portion it is very simple vf portion also simple and we have noted our ha so when you see the stress we have just noted our support reactions and now we can just like see which member we want what is our interest which location we are trying to solve our problem. Now what I am trying to do, we want to just like know member force along IH, member force along ID and member force along CD. Those three member forces we are trying to note. So what kind of section we are trying to use? When you are thinking about section part, we have to just carefully we have to select what we want. We want member force along IH, member force along ID, member force along CD. So those three members we need. So we have to select our section in the proper way. Sometime using single section, we can sort out our issues. Or sometimes we may need more than one section. Only one thing we have to understand about free body diagram concept. And we have to use combined version of our concurrent equilibrium, the like kind of uh, method, of, method of joint also we have to directly use. And in addition to that method of joint, we can just use these sections, method of section. To take care of these three unknown member forces, what I am trying to do, I am trying to just take our plane like this, xx plane like this. It is just passing through this way. Now we are considering left hand side, right hand side portion. When you consider this is our left hand side portion and we are trying to just note, we already mentioned all those members, they are subjected to outward force only. All those members. In that assumption, we just like this is our initial assumption. After that, we are trying to just understand whether it is positive or negative. Based on that thing, we are concluding the member is subjected to now it is under compression or tension. So we have one left hand side portion and we have one right hand side portion. In that left hand side portion, we have three unknown member forces. We have 16, we have 10, we have 3. In our problem, first we have to note all those angular orientations. So this is a very simple problem. That's why angular orientation part we no need to struggle directly. We can just obtain from our available length part. When we are thinking about this portion, we have one applied load also. That is under Newton. It is acting through point C. And we have one more applied load, 200 Newton, with the 45 degree orientation. It is also acting through point J. And we have one support, pin to support at A. That is HA, VA, those portions we already identified from our equilibrium equations. Now, what we are trying to do? We are trying to solve our problem and we are trying to identify our required angle. In this case, I don't want all those member forces. I specifically want only those three members, like IH, FIH, FID, and FC. 
So we are also noting that one as F16, F10, and F3. Now, how many joints are involving in this left hand side free body diagram? When you consider this problem, we have totally five joints in this particular section. I am talking about not whole diagram. In this particular section, we have five joints are involved. So, like A, B, C, I, J. But what we need is we have only three member forces, unknown member forces. So, we have to select our joints to take care of these three member forces. It is possible. So, what I am trying to do, when I consider with respect to point I, please note why I am considering this point I, when I consider this other one, I may get some component from this F10. When I consider this with respect to point J, I may get component from F10, F3, at the same time, yeah, these two things are involved. When I consider this portion, FB, I will get component from F10 and I will get F16 also. So we have to be like little, we have to, we have to think about that. When I consider point A, please note, F16 will involve, again F10 will, will involve. When I consider point C also, again F16, F10, those are involved. So that's why what I am trying to do. I will start from this point I. When I consider this point I, F16, F10, those are eliminated. Now only F3 is involved. See, when I consider moment equilibrium with respect to I, F3 into this vertical length, that is 1 meter. It produces counterclockwise moment. This under Newton, it won't produce any moment. It is acting along this member. And this 200 cos 45, that vertical part, vertical component, that will produce moment with respect to this I. That will be under counterclockwise direction. <coughs> but horizontal component, it won't produce any moment. It is coinciding with respect to your I. But when you think about your VA, VA we already identified, VA into 2 meters. That will produce clockwise moment. With respect to I, this horizontal component, it is also producing moment. Which moment? It is counterclockwise moment. So when you substitute our VA, HA from our previous calculation, at slide number 31, directly we are substituting and we are arriving our member force F3. You please note, our member force F3, it is 329.704 Newton. We have to remember this member F3 or FCD. Your member CD, it is under tensile effect. Why we are saying? Because it is attached with a positive sign. You have to remember. This is very important thing. We started with the initial convention. That is outward force. Now we are trying to see moment about this point J. When you consider moment about point J, now F3 portion we have identified. Now we have to note only F10. F10 directly now fixed because F16 it is passing through this line. Only F10 is involved. Because we F3 we already noted from our previous calculation. So this will be substituted in this equation. F3 into 1 counterclockwise moment 100 into 1 counterclockwise moment sorry clockwise moment and F10 cos 45 it won't produce any moment F10 again 1 cos 45 this towards our vertical direction that will produce moment clockwise moment. F10 cos 45 assigned 45 into 1 it produces clockwise moment. Next, HA, it produces moment. HA into 1, it produces moment. VA into 1, it produces moment. 
Vn into 1 will produce a clockwise moment and Ha into 1 will produce a counterclockwise moment. When you substitute your Ha, Va, F3 from our previous calculation steps, you will comfortably you will arrive your member force F10. According to us, F10 it is ID, so member ID. This member ID it is experiencing negative. So what it indicates, initially we are considering F10 with the outward normal, but we are just arriving with the negative sign. This indicates that our member is subjected to compressive nature. Now we have to note other one, that's point number C, joint C. When you think about our moment with respect to C, C you can note F3 portion is eliminated. Only F16 is involved. So in this way only we can just comfortably we can eliminate other things and we can just like solve our problem. So when you are considering this F moment about point C is equal to 0. So now F10 cos 45 into 1 it produces clockwise moment. F16 into 1, it produces clockwise moment. 200 vertical component. Horizontal component also will produce moment, and vertical component also will produce moment. 200 into cos 45, the vertical part, it will produce counterclockwise moment. That's why it is shown. And horizontal component, it will produce clockwise moment. 200 into cos 45 into 1. And you also have your vertical reaction VA that produces clockwise moment with respect to this point. So just when you substitute all those equivalents arrived from your previous steps, you will comfortably you will arrive your member force along this 16. In this problem, F16, it is noted as FIH. See now. We already will be noted according to the XY system, counterclockwise moment is negative, positive, and clockwise moment is negative. According to the XY, clockwise moment is negative, counterclockwise moment is positive. When you substitute those magnitudes and sign information, you are trying to arrive your F60. See, in this particular problem, why, why I am trying to show? We want these three member forces only, F16, F10, F3. When we consider these three member forces, this section itself is sufficient. We no need to go for any other further section and our problem will be solved. So, some situation we have to identify this one, this member, this member. So, at that time you have to know what kind of part you have to note. See, like your member orientation, this line orientation, you can comfortably we can arrive. And one more thing, instead of considering this straight line part, we can also use curvilinear section. That is also possible to take care of our problem and to simplify our problems. Particularly this method of section, it is mainly for our that unknown, specific unknown member. And we are trying to just to note our member forces. I, I also want to add few things in this particular method. During our analysis part, we are arriving our all those informations from experimental point of view. We are also trying to verify using strain gauges. Some peculiar members after our analysis. We want to just go for double verification. So what we are trying to do, we are specifically considering those members. And we are trying to just like compare those numerical values with our experimental part. Because from our experimental, we might have just received some, some poor data or sometimes may not be the kind of uh, suitable for our safety. So that's why we are trying to just like compare those calculations and we specifically we are considering instead of considering all those member forces so using our hand calculation we are considering only those specific members and we are trying to identify our 
corresponding unknown number of edges. And one more thing, when we think about our member force calculation from both method of joints and method of sections, in our assumption part, we have mentioned clearly some of those things, no friction, even apply loads are acting through our joints only, supports are acting through joints only, there is no weight involved in our system, member weights are ignored. And we also noted all those members when we consider, we are considering only prismatic members. But sometimes we can also use non prismatic. When you think about the non prismatic, you have to think about your that axial design part, how it is just extending, that how the profile of your configuration, how it is involved in. So when you think about that prismatic, that entire cross section, or for a particular member, when you say it is prismatic, the cross section, it is not changing with respect to your member direction. So we are trying to just use prismatic, sometimes non-prismatic also, people are using. And one more thing, we are just worrying about only axial resultant. The internal resultant. We are not bothering about anything related to distributed part. The internal distributed axial reaction we are not bothering. We are considering only integral effect of our axial distribution. It is from our internal reaction point of view only. And one more thing, how people they will just try to arrive something like strengthening their portion. So there are like kind of many stiffening mechanisms. We can keep some kind of additional tubes along your member. Those tubes will be simply just like kind of clamping mechanisms. You have some kind of bolt nut arrangement and just try, try you are trying to cover your member and your member will be strengthened and it will be just like providing you a service. So we have to just like through our analysis, finite element analysis, after getting our results from finite element analysis, we have to just verify those results with the experimental part, particularly the peculiar locations, like where serious problems are there, those locations should be considered from our experimental point of view. After that, what we are trying to do, we are trying to just sense our weakness involved in those structure and we are trying to just reinforce. Just like something like we are trying to provide some kind of stiffening, stiffening mechanisms along your member. It is something like it will be provided along your member direction. Something like you are trying to just provide welding small, small strips along your length direction or something. You are trying to keep your rings, solid rings, rigid rings. Those rings are just placed in equal space manner and those are welded along your member direction. In that way, those structures are just like reinforced and we are trying to just taking care of our problem. And I also want to just to share some few things related to this stress analysis. Nowadays, we are also trying to use composite materials. Like some situation, we have to just think about the weight part. We are trying to just think about strength related part only. We need more stiffness and like higher strength to weight ratio. So this part we have to note. So people, they are trying to just replace some portions with the composite members also and they are just like providing their results. It's only kind of resultant point of view that's just trying to give what is their result. It's only resultant calculation. It's not kind of material related point of view they are not providing. And sometimes people what they are doing, they are trying to just give proper coating mechanisms. The coating part also influencing main role. It just avoids the like kind of uh, environmental effect. 
So when you think about your trust part, environmental study properly we have to do. So they are, what they are trying to do, they are trying to just consider one single member and they will try to just study the effect involved, like where we are trying to place this member. When you place our member, obviously sometimes a wind turbine uh, part, we are trying to use for our power generation. So that wind blades will be placed something like placed over one truss arrangement only. How it will be arranged? Maybe something floating type wind turbines, or sometimes it will be just like buried, like kind of it is like kind of uh, offshore structure, offshore structure. So those members, we have to understand how it just like how it is affected. That the environmental study part we have to thoroughly we have to study with respect to one member and we can just like continue with our part how we can just we can give our suggestion on how it will be just like properly just like stiffened or oriented or just like how it will be coated so those suggestions we can just give and we can comfortably take care of our basic structure mainly for this particular case plane truss analysis it is very straightforward and simple from this plane truss analysis what we are mainly obtaining we are just obtaining on the member forces from simple approach scalar approach only but this is our basic part when you understand this one we can understand our frame analysis with many degrees of freedom when you think about your space frame you have I, we already said each node we have many degrees of freedom, something like six degrees of freedom, three displacement and three rotations. So those axial displacements, it will be simply taken care by your truss analysis. But rotations, it is very, very important. When you think about rotation, we have to think about our bending moment related calculation. And out of those three rotations, one rotation, it will be something like kind of uh, providing your torsional stiffness part. So we, we, we require torsional stiffness also. So we have to be just like, in our all those general structures, we should just solve our problem with the six degrees of freedom. It will be obviously it is safe. Sometimes we may not know that the effect of uh, transverse loads. So to carry out to carry out such kind of uh, studies, this basic part is very very important, and it is only just like simple way. First thing we are starting with a simple scalar approach only. After that we are trying to extend all those things with the vector part through three dimensional part. So for this statically determinate case, it is straightforward. Directly we are just showing all those equations. But statically indeterminate, we have some kind of methods for our beam analysis. We have used the superposition technique. And we have just arrived our compatibility equation to identify our unknown support reactions. Similarly, for our truss analysis also, we are trying to just like introduce the kind of first when you see statically indeterminate structure. We are trying to split our structure into simple form with a simplified statically determinate. We are getting our required deflection and we are trying to just to provide one reaction to avoid that unnecessary deflection. So the deflection or axial displacement, dis displacement should become zero in that particular point. Because you now we have, we, if, if there is any pin to support, that pin to support it won't allow any axial displacement. It will be zero only. <coughs> both U, V, both are zero. So in that way only we are trying to consider. So it is mainly obtained from our compatibility equation. So when you see compatibility, obviously it will be arrived from our rotation based equation and the displacement based equation. In addition to our equilibrium equations, we are trying to arrive our compatibility equations also. 
and when you think about our internal member part if internal members like prop, when i say redundant trust your internal mind you have many internal members when you think about our internal members so directly what we can say we can just like use our unit load method in addition to this equilibrium part we can proceed our calculation it is possible so to solve our static indeterminate we may need another three to four hours just like we need elaborate discussion uh, just like how to proceed all those basic steps involved in our superposition and what is compatibility so then only it is just like uh, easily you can understand but when you understand these things that other portion related to statically indeterminate it will be really easy you may need maximum two to three hours to understand that so with this uh, i will wind up our today's session i am waiting for your questions now i'll just leave it to our audience so i'm waiting for your questions kindly you can ask your questions any questions you can discuss they don't have any questions uh, i think they don't have any questions ah okay ma'am okay, okay so if there are no questions yeah, i think we can wind up our session have any queries no, okay shall we wind up sir then yeah no problem because this uh, this topic already they may have uh, teaching in their classes okay. it is simple only for them i think it is a uh, well known content for others so that's why they are not having any questions if there is any complicated thing obviously they may ask few questions so it is like kind of uh, they are also teachers and they also received a doctorate and they are having full experience in that field so oh, that's why i was also little worrying the teachers how can i say something because they might have known many things it may be repeated kind of one or but we can just share about a kind of uh, whatever things we have we can at least share it may be useful for someone so now we can wind up no madam Ah uh, yes, sir. If there are no questions from the participants, I think we can close the session. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for your presence today and uh, for sharing your uh, knowledge on analysis of trusses uh, using method of joins and method of sections. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yes, Madam, I have sent my updated uh, my data profile and okay. I also sent my slides yes, to sir. your yes. email ID. Okay, sir. You just kindly use that thing for your. Uh, Like in yeah. next level, something you are planning to share those slides to your uh, faculty yes. members. Okay, yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Yeah, I'll make you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for, uh, for your kind cooperation. So.
really am very happy to share our little knowledge to your to our community like academic community so i should thank everyone i should thank our madam also madam she has given opportunity to present our contents in front of our group thank you very much yeah it's our pleasure to sir thank you sir thank you very much ma'am bye